for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Now for the Texas Pledge. Honor the Texas flag. I pledge allegiance to the Texas, one state, under God, one indivisible. All right, thank you very much. Okay, I believe we'll go to our campus recognitions. Uh, yes, Mr. Board President. Uh, uh, Chris Abeers, principal at Irma Marsh Middle School, has brought a team of staff and students and parents tonight, and they will be uh, presenting how Irma Marsh Middle School is better when everyone works together. Hello, my name is Tripp. Good evening, Superintendent Smith Faulkner, Mr. Board President, and members of the Board of Education. Thank you for having Irma Marsh Middle School here tonight to present. This evening, we'll be showcasing our campus parents, staff, and students, and how the district's theme of Better Together and our theme, You Belong Here, make the perfect match. It takes everyone at our school and all our voices together, much like our amazing varsity choir, to create a safe and welcoming place we call Irma Marsh Middle School. My name is Aaliyah. IMMS works better together with our parents. We love having them on our campus for academic pep rally celebrating the students' hard work. Students are most more successful with parent involvement. Hear from our parents about their views on IMMS.
Hello, my name is Melanie. Our teachers work together to make sure that we are growing in our learning. They make a huge difference to us every day. It's also important for staff at IMMS to feel a sense of belonging at work. Hear from them about why IMMS is better together and a good place for them to work. Hello, my name is Ryan. Middle school can be a tough time for kids. If you think back to your middle school days, there might be more days you'd rather forget than remember. <laughs> but the staff at IMMS focus on working together to help students learn, feel listened to, and safe. Hear from our students about what that means to them. Hello, my name is Alake, and as you can see, it takes everyone working together at IMMS to make students, staff, and parents feel and know it's a safe and good place to learn, grow, and belong. We're truly better together. We thank you for your time this evening on our presentation, and we hope you enjoyed it. I'm continually impressed with the students at Irma Marship. That's why it's my favorite place to be in the whole world. Um, and they showed this evening why that is. So let's honor their hard work. Thank you, Ms. Mack, for the extra time and effort you put in for this evening when she has UIL on Wednesday. But you can hear that they're ready. Parents, if you're here this evening, please stand so we can recognize you.
So each school has their own goals and focuses every year, but I love how the themes that, that we have can merge seamlessly with what the district wants, uh, puts together. So I hope you were able to take away how Irma Marsh and CISD are very much better together. Thank you so much. So, so we as a board are blessed up here each and every meeting because we get to witness uh, the wonderful achievements that you guys do every day. Uh, students, thank you for representing Castleberry and Irma Marsh in the way that you do. Parents, thank you for supporting your students and your, your children uh, and other, other children of the district. Because I know it's not just one that comes over and hangs out with your, your student or your uh, daughter or son. And then, of course, to the staff. Uh, thank you for doing what you do and making Irma Marsh a great place to be, that the kids enjoy coming there. And, and what's our statement? We're better together. So thank you all very much. And we have another recognition uh, tonight. That's Miss Stephanie Martinez, our CTE coordinator, and Miss Caitlin Condors, our elementary lead computer science uh, teacher. Have students who will be recognizing how staff and our students in the community are all better together in our CISD STEM program. Good evening, Superintendent Smith Faulkner, President Romo, and board members. We are so excited to highlight the amazing things happening with STEM and Castleberry ISD. We have some students from each of our schools joining us tonight to highlight their experiences. Here are the topics that we'll be briefly covering during our presentation. To kick it off, I do want to point out why STEM, specifically computer science, has become an important reason to prepare our students for the 21st century. Um, begin, being in the CTE community has helped me be acutely aware of the intense need to make sure our students are ready for the changing workforce of the Metroplex. Tarrant County will alone see an increase of 61% of new jobs in the computer science field within the next 10 years. Our students must be ready and in line for these lucrative positions directly in our backyard. And you can see those are some of the biggest uh, companies with the most spots. And they're here. They're here in our backyard. Our kids need to be ready for them. Here's just a little data from code.org. While nationally 67% of all new jobs are in computing, only 11% of STEM bachelor degrees are from computer science. So early exposure to these concepts will help increase these numbers. Currently, there are over half a million unfilled positions in every industry for STEM, uh, computer science specifically. So the need for computer science STEM isn't going down. And the work we do here at CISD is essential, not just for North Texas, but for our entire nation. Also, it's important to include CS education throughout our curriculum because the research shows that it increases the likelihood of women and minorities progressing into these majors in post-secondary education. And this is why, as a district, we have really made a push to include computer science as part of our core curriculum, including 12 weeks of coding per grade level in each of our elementary schools. And like I said, early exposure is critical. So please enjoy seeing all the ways that we are starting to tackle this demand. Here's Ms. Caitlin Condors, our most amazing lead STEM teacher. Thank you so much, Stephanie. Good evening, board. Um, my name is Caitlin Condors. I am the lead coding and computer science teacher for elementary. I am so very proud to be a member of the Castleberry ISD team, where every elementary student does receive computer science instruction embedded into their school day, as well as extracurricular opportunities after school as well. I brought with me a representative from each of our elementary schools to tell you more about their experiences with the Castleberry coding and computer science programs that we offer. Hi, my name is Mikey Hernandez. I go to Castleberry Elementary. My name is David Garibe, and I go to A.V. Cato. My name is Jacob Resendiz, and I go to George James Academy of Leadership. Uh, back one, please. Thank you. Every elementary student in Castleberry does have coding curriculum built into the school day. Even pre-K practices coding concepts with Frog Street. 
In kinder through fifth grade, our students receive a total of 12 weeks of coding and computer science instruction, which is delivered to them during their PLC time. Let's hear more about the coding PLC from our elementary representatives. In coding PLC, we learn coding skills that we need in the future for our jobs. It's important to learn coding because it'll help you recognize if you're interested in a job in STEM. I like that we work together in coding PLC because it gives all kids a chance to learn coding and teamwork. Our coding teachers show us to control characters with code by using blocks like events and behaviors to make them move. Coding is important to learn because if you like it, you you can keep working on it and use those skills to get a good job. We also learn how to use block code to change the characters on the screen, like making them shrink, grow, and lots more. We also work as a team to solve coding challenges to help each other understand the problem and to get better at it together. Our students are so excited about coding that we created an after school coding club so that they can apply what they've learned in their coding PLC to a variety of all new challenging projects, including an introduction to te text based programming with Python. Every year, we hold three 10 week long sections of code club at each school with extension activities. And with 20 students in each section at three different schools, this amounts to over 100 coding club students receiving that extended learning every year. I'll let some of our very own coding club members speak with you about the value that they find in our club. In Code Club, we do fun coding activities like Code Combat, Scratch, Little Robots called Spiros, Minecraft Education Edition. We program with Block Code and Python as well. My favorite part of Code Club is when we work together to solve a trick, the tricky, to solve a tricky error in the code because even the toughest challenges are possible when we work as a team. One thing we do in Code Club is we is learn how to program Sphero robots. We use code to make them move, change colors, and make sounds. We also work together in Minecraft to make hacks and commands with code. Co collaborating with friends makes learning more fun than doing it alone. In Code Club, my favorite thing to do is program Spears. Spears are robots that students use an iPad to program with either block coding or by drawing shapes with your finger. It's better to work together in Code Club because it helps us solve problems and learn more from the people in your team. Moving on from elementary, let's hear from Ms. Martinez about the STEM Academy available to students at the middle school level. Thank you. I have a little video that uh, we have our STEM Academy at the middle school and we are in our second year of our cohort. And so we have uh, seventh graders and then next year we'll have another, another cohort come up and we'll have all three grades through all of them. So there's about 27 kids per co cohort, but I don't know, we have a 150 applications right now sitting in the queue, so we'll see. Um, but I'd like to play your little video of why our students are choosing STEM Academy.
And so that, that is a part of our recruiting video that we've been using for uh, the new cohort coming in. And so it is an accelerated math and science program. And so in sixth grade, they're learning all of sixth and seventh grade. And then in seventh grade, they're learning all in seventh and eighth grade math uh, and science concepts. So by the time they get to eighth grade, they'll be taking algebra and biology. And then hopefully by the time they're done at the high school level, they'll have up to 56 credits to transfer um, into a Texas university. So I'd like to highlight a couple of our students that we have here, and they're going to tell you about their experience with STEM Academy. Hello, board members. My name is Preston Lynn Aquila, and I'm from IMMS from the STEM program. And I'm here to tell you that STEM Academy is a very beneficial program and a fun program, too. STEM Academy inspires students to work with technology and learn useful skills in the long run. I got some quotes from students and STEM teachers to back up this theory from Miss Henry, our great science and innovators and makers teacher. She said, I love the opportunity to do more hands-on activities and learn with my students. And one of our great STEM students, Kaden Coleman said, something that I really like and enjoy about STEM Academy is that it helps students with social interactions in turns imperfections in how they act into amazing social interactions. This just goes to show STEM Academy is a very beneficial and beloved program to all the students. Hello, my name is Alize Gomez in the STEM program at Urban Marsh. STEM is a great place to start off middle school, especially for females. Since we have multiple classes together, I've built great relationships with my peers. I love STEM program because I get a lot of opportunities that I wouldn't get in a regular classes, such as going on field trips and participating in after school activities. I've also got to learn how code, how to code, which sounds boring, but it's really fun. The accelerated classes put our learning ahead of other kids our age. I also have some pretty cool teachers that make uh, learning fun. I am grateful for the opportunity to take in this program. Thank you so much, guys. I appreciate it. Um, next, we're going to talk about STEM. And we have four students from the secondary level at our high school. And so then go ahead and come up. And I had this big production, like you see those big balloons. But then I realized they're half the size of the children, so they're a little too big to be. <laughs> but you can just imagine they were going to hold the S, the T, the E, and the M. Um, so we're going to start off first with Mr. Eric Torres. And he's going to tell you what the S, the means the T, the E, and the M in STEM for computer science. <clears throat> Good evening, Superintendent uh, Renee Smith Faulkner, Kenneth Romo, and all to all the uh, school board members. My name is Eric Torres, and as a sophomore who has decided to be a part of the AP Computer Science Program and the cybersecurity course offered at CHS, I'm here to present to you what the S means. So science is our tool for understanding our purpose in our world and how we can make a difference. And no, I'm not talking about the biology you might have learned in freshman year or the physics class everyone bombed their junior year. I'm talking about science that we use every day inside of our technology. Techn uh, science such as testing out apps, analyzing the data all around us, or even coding are just some of the science that goes behind all of this. Um, in our real world, I'm passionate about uh, changing the world and pursuing a medical career. The S in STEM not only stands for science. For me, it also stands for success and how we can use our skills and use the science we develop inside of computer science, cybersecurity, or even just digital pro uh, production in order to, uh, to be successful. Each and every day, I can see how computer science affects my daily life. In Eric Aguillon's classroom, I've learned how to analyze code, how to identify security threats um, inside of my devices. But most importantly, I've learned how to be ready to take on the world because of the skills STEM classes have gifted me. As someone who has spoken Spanish for most of my life, um, Rick's computer science principles class uh, truly helped me understand English more and more. The more projects we did, such as creating apps or learning STEM terms in order to hone our computer knowledge, I learned how to communicate in English through computers. It was something revolutionary and impactful to my life. As a Latino Americano, Kesselberry STEM truly has uh, STEM program truly has uh, changed my world and the world of other young leaders willing to pursue a STEM career. And despite the fact that I will not be pursuing a STEM career, STEM itself has helped me uh, to be inspired and pursue a medical career and uh, be ready for what's next. 
However, even with all these amazing and fundamental experiences, there comes one negative. That being that if we do not allow our campus to begin computer science at a young age and do not specialize in STEM, many of our future leaders will not be fully equipped with the skills needed to take on the 21st century. So let's give our students the tools they need to succeed in the 21st century. Let's make sure that science is a fundamental part of the education. And let's hear it for the other high school students who have wonderful experiences in the STEM world. Thank you. Good evening. Um, Superintendent Smith Faulkner, President Romo, and of course, all the board members. Uh, my name is Lewis, and I'm a senior at CHS. Um, of course, continuing our discussion about of STEM education, I of course turn to the second letter in STEM, which is T, which stands for, of course, technology. You know, technology is all around us, from the smartphones in our pockets to, of course, the mic I'm using today. Um, and of course, at our high school, we're committing to teaching students how to use and, of course, create technology. You know, through the courses, through courses um, including computer science, students are learning how to design and build technologies of tomorrow. In addition to learning how to solve these complex problems, collaborate, and of course, think creatively. But technology isn't just about creating gadgets or gizmos we all enjoy, of course. It's also about using technology to make a positive impact on the world. And of course, our students at Casaberry, my friends, are learning how to apply their skills and their interests from healthcare to, of course, creating a more sustainable world. Um, we are preparing to create innovative solutions to some of the world's most pressing problems. I want to, of course, share with you my personal experience in technology. Um, of course, through a, crowd, through, through a combination of college level courses, including the AP Computer Science Program with Mr. Rick um, Aguilon, and of course, the UT Austin's Computer Science Program I took last year as a junior, um, I've been able to, to of course, um, explore early um, the, the rigors of, a, of college classes, but of course, confirm my interest in majoring in one day in computer science next year, of course, as a freshman in college. However, Casaberry also represents a leap pad. I've been able to compete at science fairs, of course, have my AI projects scrutinized by computer science experts. Of course, these experiences have allowed me a, a wealth of, of, of course, outside experiences from Casaberry, including attending Princeton University in the summer to learn more about um, computer science and, of course, from renowned professors at Princeton, and, of course, the current advancements in AI. Today, I have the opportunity to enter at General Motors, of course, through the help of Mrs. Martinez, and of course, now apply my skills, not, not only that I've learned and of course, being able to practice in a safe environment um, in computer science, but of course, now as an IT system specialist, working with the my friend Melissa, learning alongside GM's lead in global networking technologies. All of these opportunities have empowered me to, of course, um, one day be a leader, a Latino leader in STEM and serve as the first step in, meaning, in having a successful career in ink technology. So I ask you today, let's give all the students the skills and knowledge they need to be the tech leaders of tomorrow. And of course, ensure that technology is a fundamental part of their education. Thank you for listening. Good evening, Superintendent Smith Faulkner, President Romo, and School Board. My name is Melissa Tobias, and I am a senior at CHS. As we continue discussing STEM education, we turn to the third letter, which is E, and it stands for engineering. Engineering is all about turning ideas into reality. It's about designing and building everything from bridges to buildings to even a spacecraft. I also believe that E stands for encouragement. As a Latina woman going into college to pursue computer science and engineering, this STEM education has been pivotal, pivotal to my path. Since freshman year, I have been placed in multiple computer science courses, and I have been taught by both Eric and Rick Aguilon, who have played a crucial role in my computer education. Now as a senior, I am one of the three female students in my honors computer science class, and giving those boys a real run for their money. <laughs> it is evident that our world is changing, and women are needed in these STEM careers, and that starts here at the elementary schools. Building and strengthening these young female students' confidence, just like the Aguilon brothers did for me, will pay a huge role in revolutionizing STEM as a whole. All of the lessons that have been taught to me through my four years have allowed me to graduate high school with a leg up on other students, now being fluent in both Python and JavaScript. Last summer, I was given the privilege through Ms. Martinez to work through a local business as an intern. And now, along with Lewis, we are currently STEM IT interns for GM Financial making us the first in Cal Bay's history to become a part of this program, opening multiple doors of opportunity. Things like this are only happening at Castleberry, and it is revolutionary to see these elementary students being fed this curriculum at such a young age. We are truly revolutionizing the students of tomorrow, and it is very fascinating to see. Thank you so much for your time and everything you've done for STEM.
Good afternoon, school board members. Um, my name is Yami Lev Corrales, and I'm a junior in Casabury High School. As you all know, M in STEM stands for mathematics. Computer science uses math all the time. The way I've experienced using math on an assignment has been when I've inputted different degree angles to generate an animation. There has to be a certain coordinates in order to successfully create a shape or an image such as 950 degrees or 90 degrees, the list goes on. As a woman in STEM, it is important to acknowledge other women like me pursuing these technology jobs that will take over our future. I would like to thank you and have a good rest of your night. Thank you. Thank you so much. We really appreciate it. So that is um, our our students from our high school. And just in closing, we're going to talk about a little bit family code night and being better together. We brought over 288 families came in that evening alongside. I have the, the teachers. If you were a STEM teacher at code night, can, I think y'all were all there. Stand up and say hello. They are some of the people that helped out. And then we also... I'm, I believe most of these young people were there at Family Code Night as well, helping um, with us too. There was another picture on here that it somehow made it off, but it was a uh, President Ro Romo and Ms. McFaulkner were getting interviewed by the STEM Academy on a podcast. So y'all be looking for that one. That will be up pretty soon. Um, so we are trying to do things to get the community engaged and understand the importance of STEM as well. And the last slide that I'm going to end on is we also did the Texas Girls in STEM last week. We had our young STEM students go and uh, read Rosie, uh, Rosie Revere Engineer to the pre-K students and the uh, kindergarten, student, kindergarten students in the library as well. So um, thank you so much for listening to our presentation tonight and seeing all the nice things that we're doing at STEM. It's really um, fun for me to see um, when I was sitting learning basic <laughs> back in the 90s to what it's uh, it turned into today. It's a lot of fun seeing that the kids get these jobs and these internships at these corporations that are in our backyard. Thank you so much. And, and again, on behalf of the board, students, thank you so uh, thank you for being such wonderful students, uh, Miss Martinez. Thank you for to you and the STEM staff. I mean, our I opened this portion of the meeting with our mission statement: uh, inspiring, educating, empowering all students to be innovative thinkers in the global community. This is a prime example of what you guys are doing, and we can't thank you enough for doing that. Okay. Okay, at this time, we're going to do some pictures. We're going to have the choir come up first.